Hello, it's uh, Holly again and um, today we're going to do a draw along of a guinea pig. This is Waffle and Waffle looks just like one of the guinea pigs in a book that I did called I Love You Little One and all the characters are guinea pigs. Can you see her? Do -do -do. So get, I can't do this with Waffle here. But I thought you might like to see her. She's very gorgeous, isn't she? Say hello, Waffle. Right, Waffle's going to go away and um, we're going to do some drawing. For this one, you will need a pen or a pencil to draw with and something for colouring. And you can use paint, um, pencils, you can use paint, or, like we did in the other video, um, you can have a wee look around and find some things to make your own colour with. You can use flowers or um, tea bags, anything at all. You can have a wee look around and um, you can let me know what you find, okay? Now, I really love get, drawing guinea pigs. I have two books that have guinea pigs in them. This was the the first one I did, did a long time ago and now my guinea pigs look more like this. So we're going to be drawing um, a guinea pig on a skateboard. This is what I find because I find him in my sketchbook. This is a sketchbook. This is where I do all my ideas for my books. And so there's lots of writing and scribbly drawings. Some of them very scribbly. Look at that. Um, and these are where my book ideas come from. This one I was trying to do about a guinea pig. So, I like this one. I love drawing a guinea pig on a scooter. I like their shape because they have a nice big tummy. So, let's do this, shall we? Um, and I'm going to colour it in like this one. And there's a guinea pig on a scooter in this book. Look, here he is. The scooter with a cookie. He's being very safety conscious though with his helmet. Um, on the next page, whoopsie. But I think he's crying more because um, the biscuit is broken. Anyway, enough of about that. Should we get on and do a bit of drawing? Okay, so I'm going to use a pen because I'm hoping it will show up a bit, a wee bit better for you. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I draw my guinea pigs is I give them their, I start at the nose and I draw a line for the top of the head, okay? And then they have little nosy bit there and that's gonna become their nose. And they have quite a squarish, shape but then this goes round and that becomes can you tell what that's going to be it's going to be the mouth they have funny little lips like this and so that comes down like that okay now you can pause the video at any time there's no rush you can take as long as you like to do this and we put an eye goes about here and i do my eyes like that. A little bit thicker at the bottom, almost like a tear, tear shape. Now I think it's quite nice when we give our guinea pig a little bit of tufty hair. What do you think? And a nice ear. Now guinea pigs have lovely ears and they're all kind of wiggly so you can have fun doing a wiggly ear like this and it kind of folds about all over the place. So it looks a little bit like I don't know, a jelly bean that's gone wrong. Um, now, I'm going to give them a couple of little tufty bits there. Shall we do this guinea pig with a t-shirt on, shall we? You don't have to, but let's do this. I'm actually going to give him a cape just like the drawing. Um, so here at the front, he's got a little tie. 
He's made himself, I think, like a superhero. And the cape goes nice and wiggly because it's flapping around behind. And like before, when we have things flapping or bouncing about, if we do little marks like that, it helps to show that they are kind of moving around. Now, let's see here. Now, his back is going to go curving in like that. And we're going to draw just like a little, it's almost like a backwards D shape here for the T-shirt, okay? And then you can draw some stripes. You don't have to draw stripes. You can do spots on your t-shirt or you could just have it plain, couldn't you? I like stripes. I like stripes on everything. Um, so, little hand is going to come out like this. Now it's a little bit tricky because it's going around the handlebars. But if you try to think of... Um, Try not to panic because you're draw, drawing a hand because I'm making it really simple. See, it's just like a kind of shape like that. We've not drawn any fingers or anything. But then we're good, if we do a circle for the end of the scooter handle, and it's got like a little bit on the inside, and then it just looks like his hand is kind of holding over the edge, doesn't it? And that's all you need to do and then start a little bit lower down and his arm gets thicker towards the end and then we could maybe just have some little tufts of hair like that do you see um continue on with the stripes now i think i made you can add a little horn to your scooter if you like you don't need to Um, now, let's get the tummy in. Um, no, let's do the handlebar. So we're just going to do a line all the way down. I'm not quite sure I've made that a bit long, but... So there's no exact science to doing this, guys. So you give him a tummy, and then the T-shirt goes up a bit at the back. So it's not a straight line across, it's because it's going round his body, okay? And you can help, the stripes can help to show that. And they're going round, make it show off his lovely tummy, okay? Now, he's going to have a leg here. His leg is coming round because he's scooting his little bottom. Around like that, and then a little leg, little foot. Sorry, and they've kind of got long feet, so I've done his heel there. Do you see? And then it's long and thin, and they have three toes at the end. So, one, two, three, and then we've got tummy coming round like this and I leave a little gap so it looks like the t-shirt is sort of sitting off the body a bit and this comes in like that and now we just need the other leg now the other leg is behind so we start a bit further down you just see a bit of that back leg like that and then it goes down like that smooth and he's sort of just balancing on his very tippy toes. You don't really see them. It goes up like that and you see a bit of his walk like that. Okay. Um, and now we need some more bounce lines because his bottom is bouncing and his foot is wishing and maybe even some lines like that to show that he's scooting along. Now we need to make the line come across like this for him to be on his scooter. And the scooter's got a wheel here. 
and oh, we are here. I've done a very simple type of scooter. You can make yours as complicated as you like. Maybe you've got your own scooter that you want to do. This is just a nice simple one. And I just make another line down here so it looks like a... Okay. And then just do some little, little wiggle to show that suddenly he's on the ground. Should we make him honking the horn? Beep, beep. <laughs> um, now, let's colour him in, shall we? I think we've got all the drawing done. What do you think? Now, well, that made a nice noise, didn't it? So, I am going to show you a couple of wee tricks to do with paint, but you don't have to use paint, you can use um, colour pencils or anything you like, but I thought you might like to see a little bit about how I um, use paint. It's some nice tricks. Okay, so first, what I do is I just get some nice clean water with nothing in it, okay? So clean water, and then I would like to give my guinea pig like a patch, a patch a bit like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just plain water and I'm going to paint where I want the paint to go. So you're kind of painting in invisible paint just now and I'm actually leaving a wee gap around his eye. I'm drawing a boy guinea pig. My guinea pigs tend to look like boys, I think. But you can make your guinea pig can be a girl or whatever you would like. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I've got some water there and I'm going to do a bit of water here just on the end of his arm, at the top of his arm rather. And I'm going to do a nice big patch here. Okay. Now, maybe a little bit there too. Okay. Now I'm going to get my paint. And let's make him a lovely orangey colour, shall we? I mix my paint up and I get lots of paint on. Da, da, da. And then what you do, and you might have done this at school or something, if you just touch it on, look. And then it bleeds into lots of nice shapes. And you can touch it and move it around. But what it does, it means that rather than having like sharp edges to your colour, you've got nice soft edges a bit like fur and you can add so I've put down an orange and now if I add a bit of red you see it makes a little bit darker there and then I could even add a bit of a nice bit of brown and it will make it you know a little bit darker under under the ear okay and the paint kind of just mixes on the paper. Maybe I could put some here. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? And you can make your guinea pig whatever colour you like. Um, I'm inspired by Waffle, our guinea pig. We have another guinea pig called Popcorn, who is kind of yellowy and with tufty hair, tufty fur. Waffle has smooth hair. And I put some paint here, didn't I? Some water here. There we go. Now, what I can do, it doesn't have to all be paint, I could, um, I could do some pencil, or I could do pencil and paint, couldn't I? You don't have to fill in all the lines. 
doesn't have to be you know really super neat sometimes it's nice if things are a little bit scribbly yes he's kind of got blue stripes it's not very original is it blue stripes and um should we give him a red scooter i wonder what color you're going to color your scooter With, with maybe a yellowy green, a yellowy, yellowy bottom bit. Like that. Now, what colour shall I make his cape? That's a tricky one, isn't it? Um, what about a bit of pink? And you can do a nice scribbly. Doesn't have to be all neat, because sometimes it's fun having seeing all the, the marks. I could put a bit of yellow with that as well. So when you're mixing your colours on the paper, do you see how it's kind of going a bit orangey there? That's quite fun, isn't it? I'm not being too careful. Sometimes if you try and be too careful, it takes the fun away. And we want to have lots of fun when we're drawing, don't we? But to think of a name for the guinea pig. Um, could be waffle, could be popcorn, but do you know what? I think this is a boy and I think I'm gonna call my guinea pig Griff. I like that name. Now, what does Griff need? He needs to have some colour on his nose and his ear. So I make a oh, not quite enough on that. We make a little kind of pinky little still not enough colour on that, Holly. I put a little bit of now if you Make a mess with your paint. You can always use a tissue to dab it up. So that's made it a little bit strong, but never mind. And he goes, his nose goes down like that. Little pink nose and maybe little pink lip and little pink fingers they have, little pink hands. And their feet are pink all the way at the bottom like that, see? And then, Their ears are kind of pinky brown, but I always like them to be slightly pink. Okay. Now we are nearly done, but something that's important to do is that gives your picture a real kind of finishing touch is if you put some shadow in. Okay. Now your shadow doesn't need to be anything fancy and it's really nice and easy to do. If you get like a, like a bluey grey pencil or even, um, or your paint. I use a colour that I really like called Payne's Grey, but I put lots of water with it so that it's not too dark. And I'm gonna just put it on this underside here. It's just gonna help make, make your picture come to life a little bit. See? And you can put it on the bits that you think would have a bit of shadow. So maybe the under part of this cape and his tummy under where the t-shirt, there's a shadow from the t-shirt and because his tummy is quite big it's going to come out like that. And on this back leg, this back leg is going to have shadow. It just helps to make your picture come alive a wee bit. I can even put it in here on the ear and that makes that look a little bit in there. On his chinny chin chin. And his hand. 
Oh, hello, Griff. You're coming to life now, aren't you? Oh, and here. I forgot this bit, didn't I? There we go. Now, I would love to see any of your pictures. You can tag me in them. You can send them to me on my Instagram page or Facebook page. You can get your mummy and daddy to help. And um, I'd love to see them. Thank you very much for joining in. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget. Very important when you're an artist is to sign your name so everybody knows it was you that did it. So I write my name as Holly. Surplus. Okay. And now that's you done. Professional job, everyone. Well done. Round of applause. Have fun.